Hi, this is Tony, and we're back on the bench. And this afternoon, I wanted to do a, a little video on two kind of rare and special reels here. Uh, so, so these both come from the, the the vintage Pan Long Beach line, basically. And uh, we're, we're going to kind of do like a, a kind of a small tutorial and uh, walk through of each reel and talk a little bit about them. So first off, we have the exceptionally rare Long Beach Deluxe here, uh, which is uh, basically what the Penn Senator 2 ought uh, turned into. But as you can see, it says Penn Long Beach Deluxe. It's got this beautiful scene plate here on the side. Uh, made from German silver uh, components, very very pretty reel, uh, and very rare. You know, I, I've only seen probably about three of these on eBay in my entire life. Uh, so you know, there's there's just not a lot of these you know kick kicking around out there. And then we've also got the Penn Long Beach Live Baitcaster 259 here, a wide spool edition reel uh, of the Long Beach series. And this reel is rare, nowhere as near as rare as the Deluxe, I think. Um, and sometimes the 259 is actually uh, uh, labeled as the Deluxe model, uh, for lack of a better term. Uh, however, it, it's, it's really not. It's, it's called the Live Baitcaster. Uh, the deluxe will actually say deluxe on it. So, um, but sometimes there's there's some confusion there because the the live baitcaster model is 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 a really uh, shined up model compared to all the other Long Beach models, the sixty, uh, the sixty five, sixty six, sixty seven, and sixty eight. Um, you know they don't have the outer chromed rings on those reels, and uh, you know they, they they just don't look uh, quite as um, quite as pretty. Now the 259 can also be uh, somewhat mistaken for a Senator 3 uh, ought as well, um, but it's it's not a, a Senator 3 ought. It, um, it, it's close, it's similar, but it, it's not quite the same. So, um, you know, basically these reels were offered kind of in the early days of of Penn. So starting off with the Long Beach Deluxe, they came out with this in 1937 and they only ran up into about 1941, 1942, and then they stopped production of, of the Deluxe. And that's when the Senators, the, the black face plated Senators came into play around 1941 and they came out with the, with the one aughts and the two aughts and the three aughts and so forth and so on. And, and those reels were considered light tackle reels but at the time, Penn wanted to offer the Long Beach Deluxe kind of as the heavy-duty model Long Beach because in those days, the Long Beach kind of set the standard, the, 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 the early Long Beach models, basically. Uh, you know, you can see that you've got three frame posts here on both front and rear, you know, so that definitely makes this a heavy-duty style reel, which, you know, this did follow to the Senator line, of course. And then the outer chromed rings and whatnot. It's got this oversized handle to it here. And um, I think they went to the torpedo handle kind of in the around 19, I want to say 1940, 1939, 40, they switched over to the torpedo handle. But ones that predated these, uh, the 37 models especially, would have a wooden handle, I think. Um, there is some documentation on the history of this model. Uh, it's kind of scarce. Uh, if you go to orca.com, there is some information there, I believe. Um, but, uh, uh, but yeah, the, you know, this, this was Penn's answer to having a heavy duty style Long Beach, uh, design, um, before they came out with the Senator. And then once the Senator came out, these, these completely went away, uh, but very, very pretty real, very solid. The, all the internals are the same as if you would find in a, in a standard, uh, Long Beach, uh, you know, a real basically, or at least the, 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 the larger models, I believe. So that's kind of a little bit of back history on that. And then with the live bait caster, so Penn offered 
the 259 in the late 40s, and they had a very short run. They only went up until about the late 50s, and so this is, you know, they had about 10 years in there, more or less, uh, where, where these existed, and they were offered with both plastic spools and metal spools. This one happens to have a nice black plastic one, and, uh, and I'm not 100% sure, but I believe this spool is also interchangeable perhaps with the 350 uh, level line model. I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, but, you know, same deal on the internals, you know, standard of what you would find with, uh, with, with a lot of the other standard Long Beach series, 2.51 uh, to, to 1 gear ratio. Um, uh, but the, uh, but the, even though this looks like a Senator three, the rings are are slightly different sized, and and the 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 two fifty nine here doesn't have that third crossbar the way that that a Senator three ought would, and so that that's that's definitely something that makes a difference there. Um, and uh, the uh, the the frame posts and stand mount for that matter are interchangeable with a Surf Master, um, and so that's that that's kind of the uh, you know, kind of the thing there is that a lot of these part pieces and parts are interchangeable, uh, you know, with, uh, you know, with other reels. Um, and actually now that I think about it, this spool might be, uh, for a, uh, for, for a jig master 500, perhaps it's about the same size as a jig master, more or less. It's just kind of more, more chromed up basically. So, um, you know that's that's just kind of the the brief you know backstory of that. But this this reel was a wide spool reel, obviously, so it was definitely designed for casting, uh, more or less. You know, in the early days of of pen reels, they had these narrower you know uh, you know reels, and you know they they were harder to cast, especially with heavy lines, with the heavy braided lines and stuff like that. So, you know, they wanted to come out with, with an answer to that, that problem, basically, and that's, that's kind of what they did here. Um, this was definitely one of the earlier generation wide spool reels that they, um, that they offered. So, um, hopefully, uh, that's a, a good little uh, back history and tutorial of these two models. Uh, so thanks again for watching. And uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more, please subscribe. I will be doing uh, separate uh, service videos on both of these models soon. So you can check that out on the uh, YouTube channel. But thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.